Hello there and welcome to another video all about customer service. So in this video we are going to talk about customer service and contact centre experience. So if you've worked in a customer service environment or a contact centre environment you will know that people come and go like the weather. Oh hi what's your name? Oh you've left already. Now a lot of contact centres and retail will pay minimum wage. So when you pay minimum wage, are you really going to get the experience that you need? Do you even need experience to work there? What about in your workplace? Do you think that you are paid correctly for the job that you do? That's an interesting conversation, isn't it? Let's talk about managers, senior management, and even consultants that they bring in, particularly in the contact center. Do you feel as though they need experience to be able to manage you and the operation that you do? I personally am a big believer that if you are in management, you should be able to go into any company and as long as you learn stuff about the company, the targets and the people side of things, then you should be able to do the job that you've employed to do. Do you agree with that statement? Let me know. So the big question is, can you run a team, department, business without actually doing the job yourself? What do you think? If somebody is brand new, right from the entry level right up to higher management what kind of performance measures do you think should be in place to measure whether or not they are performing at the standard that you expect and if they're not performing at the standard you expect how long would you give them to get to that level and what support would you offer them so 20 years ago and maybe a bit longer than that when i first started it was all about no targets more flexible working but one of the things that they did make you do was wear a shirt and a tie I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for employing me. These days you can go into an office and majority of people can work what they want, but things are a lot more strict when it comes to targets and work. Has it changed for the better? What differences have you seen since you've worked in a contact centre or even in a customer service role? Let me know. Your AHG is over five minutes. Go on, on your back some. One of the things I've heard employers do now is they have no cap on such things as holidays or the number of absences that you're able to take. Do you work in an establishment like that? What's it like? Is it better? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today's video. Make sure you put answers to the discussion points that we talked about today, plus any comments you'd like to. And make sure you like, share, and even subscribe to these videos if you think that they're any use. And remember, in their shoes, would you be happy with the level of customer service you've offered them today? There's also a link to my LinkedIn profile if you'd like to connect and have a chat on there. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.